Yo, what up? It's your boy Owen J.J. Stone, a.k.a. Black Gritty. What's up, Jason? We are going to the playoffs. We're in the playoffs. <laughs> we are clinched. We are GOAT. The f- <laughs> <laughs> I just, we went so long without it, and last year was so amazing. It just feels good to clinch, have a couple days, and you can rest people. We yes. can do what we need to do. And I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. Now, today, we're just going to be real quick and just talk about the Phillies. If you if I asked you to sum up the season as quickly as possible, like what's your what's your what's your explanation for the season on how it made you feel? Roller coaster. Roller coaster. <laughs> up and down. That's, Elevator? <laughs> that's what I said all the time. Roller coaster team, and it's like, man alive. It's been yeah. so up and down. Yeah. The first month is like, mm, Bryce wasn't in. Yeah, I'm like, no worries. You, you understand that. <laughs> uh then you hear about Bryce coming back way sooner than anybody expected. Mm-hmm. Then he does it. And his first couple of games is like, bam, like, oh, because he had all that energy and the team was uplifted. And then he goes into a slumber slump. Yeah, he had no power for a while. He had no power, but he was still hitting and he was having his little clutch hits, mm-hmm. but it wasn't the same. And, and Turner was like ice cold. Starting out, Turner was normal. You're like, OK, this is all right. Yes. He has a couple hits. It's doing OK. <laughs> and then you look up and you're like, you haven't hit a home run. Right. In like <laughs> two weeks. OK, you haven't hit Three weeks, and there was there was a point where okay, well, Sh- Schwarber's not lead off, so what are we doing? Yep. And then I just want to give Topper some love because roller coaster is the exact word I've been using mm-hmm. all season long. Topper has frustrated both of us, I know. Yeah, and there's certain things that he does and doesn't do, but at the same time, he's steady. He's steady. Yep. So when all of us are freaking out, yes, I want you to move. Casty down when he went to his slump. He took a little bit too long for that. Mm-hmm. He took a little too long to bring Scott and Bohm up. Those are minor things, but I'm like, by the time it was really at the throat of you or I or the regular man, right? He did it. Thank you for not including us as regular men. Yeah, that's yeah, it just wouldn't work. You know what I mean? So he he did those things and he made it. Was, it might take a little longer, but he wants to stick with his guys. He wants to instill confidence, and then. You know, everybody's going to talk about it. They bring it up all the time. I heard Trey Turner interview today, and he asked him about the standing ovation and how you heard how the first time you heard about it. And his wife showed him the video, right, of it. And I'm like, that's cool. Before he left the house, his wife's like, hey, they're going to try and show you some love. And he right. probably was like, I guess we'll see. Yeah, he was like, whatever. I don't know <laughs> yeah. if they're going. I don't know if they're going. Yeah, you know I mean, I, it's, it's Philly, like yeah. whatever. And so for him to take that and have the turnaround. It just makes everything so much better. I I'm blanking on his name, Ooh. but the uh, one guy who came up from Double A, 26 years old, his first at bat, first MLB game, hits the home run at home. Oh, I I I, Man, I forget his name. Me. Yeah, now we look like we don't know what we're doing. It's okay. <laughs> we don't we don't have producers in our ear to tell yeah. us. But I I, I do have right. the hindsight to go and edit this later and put his name up there right. on the screen. <laughs> but his dad was there and his family was there and his dad was crying. And I actually watched that with Leah and she started getting emotional. And I'm like, this kid's been working his whole life. This grown man yep. has been working his whole life. You know how much support you have to have from your family to be 26 and not make it to the majors yet and just grind it out and for your first at bat to hit a home run? Amazing. Yep. Then the other night, we had that kid come out to close. Orion. And the dad was just frozen in tears. His mouth gaping open just like for his Not bubbles. Yeah. And I'm like, (laughs) man, that's love, bro. That's love. Like, you don't get that in other sports, mostly because, like, it's hard to find the, the family member in the crowd at a football game. Right. But also at the same time, the way that the quickness of the game. Boom, you're in the game if you're lineman, blocking, whatever. You might not even see what they're doing. If they're in basketball, boom, maybe you don't get the ball. You're just on the court. Or you do, you get a dunk. Boom, it's over real quick. But in baseball, you have those moments and that build up. Right. The walk up to the plate, first swing, second swing, whatever it is. You've got that intimate time of, hey, on deck or on the mound, strike, walk, ball. Like the build up and panning back and forth between family members. We had two of those. Baseball romance moments this year. Now, and three if you count the Turner one, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Turner one. I'm, uh, yeah. Right, family wise, you're right. Oh, four if you want to count the no hitter. Four. Um, then we got the cool thing with Castellanos and his son. 
Okay. Well, his, like, all the good vibes. I mean, yeah. It, it's just it's good vibes. It, it was just meant to be for the team to end up the way they were. And all the adversity makes me happy about the playoffs. You know who I feel like when I watch the Phillies? I feel like A.J. Brown demanding more touches. That's who I feel like. I'm like, stop messing up. Win the game. Well, and they're like, relax, right? Well, <laughs> like, not going to relax. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, I, the problem with that, too, is, is that we have Bryce Harper on the team. Yeah. And he's so clutch. And I know if he gets in that bat, it's insane. He's going to have a moment. Yeah, one today. And then they, yeah. And then they walk him all the time. Yeah. Which, why don't we walk people? I, I, we that's, why, that's where I get mad at uh, Topper. Topper doesn't walk anybody. I'm like, bro, do you not see them avoiding right. Schwarber, avoiding right. Bryce like the plague? Right. They're like, just going to pitch to Acuna here? Yeah, okay. Right. 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 <laughs> I'm like, uh, <laughs> like uh, it's a bold and, and, move. And then sometimes he's like, oh, well, you know, we, ha- we kept them down the whole game. Yeah, yeah. That means they're due. Yeah. That means they're due. And we just don't walk people. And for us to have our superstars get walked, it, it really – one again, I just said don't yell at Topper, but that's something that does frustrate me too, <laughs> that he does. Can't help it. Um, but, yeah, man, yeah. Red October's back. Uh, I made us some Red October shirts. Yeah, buy those uh, up. Yeah, get some, get yourself a Red October <laughs> Middleton money shirt, you know, because he, <laughs> he spent that stupid money, and we are where we are. And next year we got to spend some more stupid money on pitching unless these uh, young bulls start coming out. And, uh, sure, that bullpen. Yeah, uh, shown and proven. And uh, Nola this year. Up and down, too. Cost he's, he looks good right now. Money. He's looking good now. He, he, he has a chance to earn that money back if he, he's clutching the playoffs. In the playoffs, yes. And he, all will be forgiven and forgotten. And this year, it's funny because, you know, when you get lost in the weeds of numbers, like, you know, uh, Schwarber is one of the only people with 40 plus home runs and 100 RBIs and 120 whatever on base. Yeah. Like all his stats look great. Yeah. And you look at it and they're like, dang, how many? <laughs> I still don't understand why they win when he bats leadoff. Uh, it's their record be- is insane when he bats leadoff since what June 2nd. Like their record is just one of the best in baseball, and it just doesn't make sense to me. It's got to be just an emotional thing that right. happens. It's so in people. weird. It's it is weird because he drives me crazy. Oh god. Well. Like, when Trey Turner was swinging like Castellanos, I'm like, dude, yeah. your knee is touching the earth. Right. What are you swinging <laughs> like, at? Like, what are, what are we doing? professional swing. <laughs> so it, it, it is very strange. Uh, but Nola, his problem, too, this year, his numbers were somewhat on par, but he was just giving up big home runs. Yeah, at the like, wrong we time. Like, we would score. We would get a score or two, and then, boom, he's giving up a home run to somebody. Yep. And and that's just been his Achilles this year. But it, he gets it right now, and he, and he rides the ship. And Wheeler starts dealing, and we do what we need to do. We're dangerous. They got to find their third starter for the playoffs, though. Yes. They're unsure. Well, I mean, who would you go with? Suarez or Sanchez? It's tough. Sanchez. That's what I would do, too, because you can bring Ranger out of the bullpen. Yeah, Sanchez. I It, it is a, I mean, at this point, it's a pick em Yeah. Uh, on how you feel. It's not a heavy favorite to Sanchez, but no. I think I would start him. Yeah. So. Oh uh, man, it, it racks my brain to even think about that I know. Uh, right now. Who do you want to? Who do you want to play in the playoffs? I would rather play the Cubs, who are struggling right now. I hope they back yes. into that spot. I, On the Cubs or Marlins, it looks like it's going to be Arizona, and they scare me a little bit. Not gonna lie. Yeah, uh, and it's funny because they they scare me, but it's the same way I like have the Braves scare me. Like I know that they can get hot, but we also can get hot, right? And I just but they have some good pitching. And they got two stars down there. I take there. I, d- I take down blood there? pressure medicine. Yeah. I'm just trying yeah. not to have a heart attack this year. Like last year was just so ah! <laughs> and then and and this year has been so up and down. And they've come back late so many times. Like yo, finish the game and the nine innings provided. They come back, okay, blow the lead, then have to win later. Yeah, I can't do that in the playoffs. It's stressful. Yes, we we cannot allow that. Uh, I need more bedlam at the bank. Yeah. And uh, I'm just excited. Are oh, you excited? Man. Yeah, I hope I can get some tickets to one of those games. There's nothing better than playoff baseball in person. Red October! <laughs> just win. Just win. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, we're out. Out? Yeah. <laughs>